First, we are starting this morning with growing concerns about the Omicron variant of COVID-19. That's why we've asked the Austin Travis County Health Authority, Dr. Desmar Walks, to join us here at the KVU studios. So many of you have questions and we are here to help keep your family safe. And so thank you so much, Dr. Desmar Walks, for joining us here, first of all. Thank you for having me. Yes, we have lots to get to. So first of all, I want to get your reaction of the news coming out of Israel that plans to give a fourth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine to people over the age of 60. Leaders over there are saying that uh, it is necessary and that the rest of the world will eventually follow. What are your thoughts about this? We are still uh, gathering the science about Omicron and here we have not yet um, uh, given that guidance. We are asking people to get their booster shot after their uh, completion of the series, uh, the first vaccination series, so six months after the mRNA, Moderna, and Pfizer vaccines, and two months after J and J. All right. Now, COVID testing is now part of guidance. We've heard mm -hmm. you say that, national uh, medical experts saying that, but uh, we're hearing from a lot of our viewers. Uh, even I talked to someone yesterday. They're having a hard time finding testing. What do you have to say to those people? We are able to do testing through APH at our APH sites. You can call 311 to find out where we have those sites available and open. We will be closed for the Christmas holiday. But you also can be tested at pharmacies, at your physician's offices, and you can do home testing. Um, you can buy those in local pharmacies, grocery stores, and other um, shopping areas. We have been offering free test kits in our neighborhood centers and community centers and community groups have been distributing those as well to um, our community members who are unable to afford those. And we've heard that uh, the Biden administration is planning to distribute test kits for uh, everyone in the nation. So we're, we're, we're pushing that out. We're trying to get people to test before they go to visit friends and family this, right. this holiday season. You know, the president and his administration about to distribute what millions of those next month though. Yeah, yeah. Really doesn't help us for this month, right? And we, come on. we have a lot of tests that we've gotten out, um, nearly a million tests that we've started distributing in and around our community. So we, we've been trying to get the, the the test kits out to our community members. And I have not tried one of those, and coming up in a few minutes, Dr. Walks is going to help me uh, use one of those to show you just how easy it is, but yeah. that's coming up in just a few minutes. I wanted to ask you too, someone uh, wrote us about booster vaccines. She's having a hard time finding those in our community. Mm -hmm. What do you have to tell this person? Um, we have a lot of supply of vaccine here in our community. Um, you can go to your uh, clinician's office, you can go to pharmacies. Um, if you call 311, um, APH um, has vaccine clinics every day um, and you can call and get um, some information about where you can go to do that and go online to make an appointment for the most efficient way to get in. But um, if you don't have an appointment, we will still be able to provide that through APH. Um, so we have a lot of supply of vaccine in our community. To be clear, do you have to register and then make an appointment first? Are walk-ins allowed? Walk-ins are allowed, yes. Okay, and there's yeah. plenty in supply? Yes. Okay, there is. Good, to be clear. Um, it seems, Dr. Walks, another surge of this Omicron variant is imminent. What is the city's, uh, what do you see on the horizon as far as a city response to this surge? So we are decreasing the threshold or have decreased the threshold to move from stage three to stage four. We are currently in stage three. Um, our UT modeling information shows us that if we adhere to the guidance of stage three, which is indoor masking in public places where you're um, encountering people you don't know, don't live with, don't know their vaccination status, that that will help us avert um, a surge in hospital cases and will help us preserve our ICU bed capacity. All right. Given how contagious the Omicron variant is, is it a good idea for the city to hold a New Year's Day celebration right now? It's actually a virtual um, a gathering. Um, we will be showing the fireworks. People can look at them from afar or in their cars. We're not having any gatherings of people. There won't be vendors, there won't be bands but we are planning to have fireworks to celebrate the ringing in of 
hopefully a healthy new year or healthier new year. <laughs> that is a good alternative. Yeah. All right. Very good. Because last year we did not have that. Yeah. So we are continuing our conversation with Dr. Desma Walks, the Austin Travis County Health Authority. We're talking about the Omicron variant. But as we promised just a few minutes ago, we're going to do a live demonstration about this with this COVID-19 <laughs> test. I've never done one before, Dr. Walks. So walk me through it, please. So it comes with an instruction sheet okay. and it's a card and you'll take the card. Okay. Um, you'll take a Q-tip. You do not have to go high in the nose. You just get moisture from your nose. How many times do I do this? Five times at least One, on two, each three, side. One, two, three, four, five. Both sides? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Then okay. slip it into the bottom hole in that card. Okay. And just That's put right it in there. the hole itself. Right there. here? Yeah. Okay. And then slip it up into the top. Okay. Yeah. Turn it around three times. One, two, three. And then put six drops of this developer liquid on the top hole. One, two, Don't three, touch the card. Four, five, six. And you're okay. good. Take the tape off the side. The close. tape. And close the card. Okay. And, and then we, we just let it sit for 15 minutes and you're finished. Okay. And as we're waiting for this, I'm going to ask Dr. Walk some more questions. You know, while we're watching cases start to climb, but hospitalizations don't appear to be following that trend just yet. So what exactly do we know about the severity of Omicron and how do you know, how do you anticipate it impacting our hospital systems? So um, we know that Omicron spreads very fast. Um, it's spreading 55% uh, quicker than Delta. It replicates faster in the airway, but not so much in the lung. In South Africa, with a younger population, they've been seeing reinfection of those who have had infections in the past, so it's important that people who are sitting back thinking they're protected because they've had COVID before know that they really have to get vaccinated to get that protection against this Omicron variant. Um, in the UK, they are not seeing a difference in the severity of disease between Delta and Omicron. That means don't, don't just think that because one place is saying they're seeing mild disease that we won't see severe disease here. You need to get protection. You need to get your vaccination, get your booster, and protect yourself by wearing a mask if you're indoors in public so that you won't get this disease. So yesterday, the CDC released data about COVID being the leading cause of death nationwide in 2020. Was that the same here in Austin? Uh, we've had uh, a really high number of deaths here, but not as high as in other parts of the country or in other parts of the state. Okay, so many people are concerned about kids returning back to school after winter break. Mm -hmm. Is Austin prepared for that? We are in regular communication with our school districts. They are continuing to test um, and they're continuing to do what they need to do in the classroom settings. Um, masks are still a requirement in school settings and we're doing taking steps to keep children in school for in-person learning. What about college campuses, Dr. Walks? Is that different? The college campuses are um, making masks a requirement and, and they're also doing extensive testing and that has been uh, a game changer. They've been able to contain the infection on the campuses. Um, they're doing a great job with contact tracing, identifying people who are sick and then having them isolate and quarantining those who are close contacts. And finally, as people start to travel and start to go see their families mm -hmm. for the Christmas holiday, what's your advice on uh, safety uh, guidance? If you have symptoms, stay home. Um, make sure you test regardless of whether you're vaccinated, regardless of whether or not you have symptoms, to make sure that all you're taking home is yourself, your gifts, to your, and your gifts to your loved ones because uh, it's so easy to do this test as we just showed um, and it can tell you so much about wh whether or not you're healthy and make sure that you protect your the little people that can't be vaccinated and the older individuals who are at a higher risk for getting severe disease from COVID. You know, I've heard a lot of medical experts say, do it every day. Is that wise? Should we do this every day? Um, it, it's something that it's it's probably um, re recommended for those people who are 
in situations where they're exposed more frequently. Um, it's, it's difficult to say that that's something that we would do for somebody who's working from home, say, or in a, in a less um, high-risk position where they're not frequently exposed to the public. But say, at, at for, if you're home for the holidays with your family during Christmas, should you do this every day? You shouldn't need okay. to do it every day when you're at home. I would say do it before you go um, home to see your family. And then when you come back um, after the holiday break, um, retest on, upon return. Um, and then if during the time that you're at home with your family, you develop symptoms, you should test again. Okay. Yes. I know I've asked you a lot of questions. Was there anything perhaps I left out that the viewers need to know right now? If we do now what it takes to prevent the spread of this in our community by wearing masks in indoor public spaces, we can really do so much to protect our health care system. That's the number one thing that we can do as a community together. And then another thing that's up there with number one um, is get vaccinated and get boosted. But right now, wearing a mask and testing before you go to see people you don't live with is really super important so we can stop the spread. All right, Dr. Desmar Walks, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy right. holidays. Happy holidays. Appreciate your time. Bye.